Ah, oh, well, finally getting round to doing the Game of Thrones, fellas. So, in fact, hang on a minute, because I've left the fucking door open. I don't mind, kid. I've got to do, I've got to be in an enclosed room when I'm recording, oh, I feel strange. Anyway, the Game of Thrones TV series, the first, the first series I thought was brilliant, uh, the second series I've seen as well, I also thought was brilliant, so I decided that I was going to read the books, and uh, I'm, I'm glad I did, I really am glad I did, I've literally, um, I've gone up to, where is it, I think I'm at Caitlin, am I at Caitlin, just have a quick look here, uh, yeah, I'm in, uh, I'm in chapter Caitlin at the minute, um, so I, you know I've been through a few, and it's a, it's been a while since I've actually read these. So you'll have to bear with me if I'm not quite getting something right here. But um, the game it, it opens when uh, there's there's three people sat around um, talking about these people that they're chasing: Garrod, Will, and a lordling called Sir Waymar Royce, I believe his name is. Let me just double check that before I. Uh, before I look like an idiot. Where my Royce? Where are you, fella? I think it's him. Yeah, so where my Royce? That's it. Garrod, he's been uh, a, a watchman, I think they're called. You've got, like I said, you've got to bear with me. I've been, uh, I've, it was a while, it really was a while ago since I actually read this. Um, the Night's Watch, that's what they are. Part of the Night's Watch, Garrod has been for a long, long time. Will's been there for four years. And uh, so where my Royce, I think he's just there um, to accompany them. I could be totally wrong with that one. Like I said, it's been a while since I've read it, so you must excuse me. I think he's been there to accompany them. And you can tell straight away that something's not quite right. Something's definitely dark. Um, there's, there's a definite fear within the first within the first few pages and what better way to start off a book than to get the reader already thinking my god what what the fuck is it what what's going on what what is it that's uh, that's out there they're talking about an encampment uh, i think these guys are chasing these people that were in the encampment but they've uh, the the spotter i think it was will who went out and and found these people that were all dead and you know he's gone back to to garrod and uh, and so where my Royce showed him, you know, told him his findings and said these were people that have been killed. Where my Royce is saying, well, you know, they could have been sleeping. You know, he's always got an argument towards the case, and it turns out to be his, his downfall because as they get further towards the the encampment, um, against. Garrod and Will's wishes, uh, Will's wishes, who they can feel it in the air. There's something not quite right, and it's definitely more cold and feels a lot more freezing. Like, so they're going towards this uh, encampment, and uh, the brushes get too thick for the horses to go through. They've got to disembark off the horses and, uh, and go on foot. So Garrod is forced to stay with with the horses, and Waymar Royce and Will go forwards to this encampment. They get to the encampment. There's no bodies. There's absolutely nothing there uh, where my Royce is, I think he was saying, you know, are you sure they've not just moved on? Are you seeing things? Go up, you know, go up that, that tree and, uh, and spot, you know, spot, trying to spot something that's going up. So he goes up this tree, does, uh, does Will, and then he feels it. He feels something even worse, and it's the freezing, the cold, and he feels it. And, uh, and there's the ships that are moving around in the in the forest, and um, I've forgotten what they're called. Let me uh, try and find it here. Um, there's a there's, there's certain enemy that the, that they're uh, looking for, and I can't remember what it's bloody called now. It's annoying me. They're like really tall, like white ones or something like that. I can't remember what they're bloody called now. Are oh, the others? No? Could it be the others? I don't try. I'm going to just call them the others for the pure stake of this first video. But these things are tall. They've got like pale blue eyes. Um, like, you know, blue, just pure blue eyes. Um, and I think they're a bit like zombies in the fact that they actually 
they take over the dead and you know the dead rise and they've got this pale blue and that's what well, that's what they are and um, they've got this this weapon this I think it's like like a shard of, of glass crystal or whatever it is and you know what happens next you know wills up in the tree he sees these shapes and these people coming around and where my Royce is on the ground and you know he's starting to get nervous and he, it, it was unheard of in the first few pages that this guy, you know, steely exterior, is just being Jack the lad, uh, thinking he knows it all because he's a sir. He's, ch you know, he's telling these these people what to do, and you know, it ends up that he's on the the forest floor there, facing off against one of these others. That uh, I think I think they're quite tall, and I'm not quite sure. Um, like I said, it was, I'm sorry, it's been a while since I've read that first chapter, but. You know, he's faced off with his sword and, you know, all going at it. And then the shard, whatever it is, crystal, comes along and slices his sword in two. It, the guy ends up on the floor and then beheads him. I think he beheads him. Just check. Just double check there. I'm sure he does. Uh, pale sword came shivering through the air. So Waymar met it with steel, and the blades met. There was no ring of metal on metal, only a high, thin sound. Um, blah, blah, blah. So Waymar was panting, blah, blah, blah. When he found the courage to look again a long time, he'd paused. Nope, that's before that, I would think. Yeah, here we are. Sorry about that. Just in my own little world there. Um, I think we should went back again. So Wehmau was panting from the effort now, his breath steaming in the moonlight. His blade was white with frost, the others danced the pale blue light. Uh, then Royce's parry came a beat too late, the pale sword bit through the ring mail beneath his arm. The young lord, lord cried in pain, blood welled between the rings. It steamed in the cold and the droplets seemed red as fire where they touched the snow, where Sir Wehmau's fingers brushed his side, his moleskin glove come away soaked with red. The other said something in a language that Will did not know. His voice was the cracking of ice on Winter Lake, and the words were mocking. So where my eyes found his fury. See, that's what I got fucking put up with. All that crap outside. For Robert, he shouted. He came up snarling, lifting the frost-covered longsword with, his, with both hands and swinging it, uh, blah, blah, blah. The other's parry was almost lazy when the blades touched the steel shattered a scream echoed through the forest night and the long sword shivered into a hundred brittle pieces the shards scattering like rain of needles royce went to his knees shrieking and covering his eyes blood welled between his fingers the watchers moved forward together as if some signal had been given swords rose and fell all in a deathly silence it was a cold butchery the pale blades sliced through ring mail as if it was silk Will closed his eyes, him in the tree. Far beneath him he heard voices of laughter and sh as sharp as icicles. When he found the courage to look again, a long time had passed. Um, and then Royce's body lay face down in the snow, one arm outflung. The thick sable cloak had been slashed into a dozen pieces, laying dead like that. You saw how young he was, a boy. And then, so he wasn't beheaded, it was me. Uh, and then it goes on. A little bit further on, Will Rose, Sir Waymar Royce stood over him. So the guy who's just dead, who has got up, and uh, his fine clothes were a tatter, his face a ruin. A shard from his sword transfixed the blind white pupil of his left eye. The right one was open, the, pu the pupil burned blue, it saw. So that was the end of that first little bit. So you can see there's something not quite right there. There's this rise of evil that weren't, that it wasn't there previously. And it, you know, it says a little bit about that in the first chapter, that um, it never felt like this before. The winter is coming, um, the cold, and obviously this is set in a different world entirely. So it's something totally different uh, where the summers can last years and the winters can last years also. So. You know, maybe it's like a bit further away from their sun, so that when you know when it comes their winter, obviously it'll last a hell of a lot longer. So maybe that's the way it works. 
But there's something there, there's a start of something, and it is compelling to find out what these things are, where, what it's going to mean for, for the people of the kingdom, and, and you know, why, why it is that these people are on this wall protecting um, the rest of the kingdom from the, the northern wastes, the, 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 you know, the winter lands or whatever they want to fucking call them. Um, the first, I really, honestly, if I didn't have, if I hadn't have watched the uh, the series, um, as engaging as the first chapter is, I may not have continued, because there's bits, there's bits in it, and I've got to be honest, I've got to be honest, there's bits in it where I feel it goes into explanation, and it goes into description where it doesn't really need to, and sometimes especially with me my mind wonders i actually get into the book and it's a very rare skill that people have and i've always grown up around books and i've always loved a book when i've sat there when i open them pages when i read i'm there you know what i mean i'm there i'm seeing it as if i'm stood there watching what's happening and uh there's parts in it where I think, why is it going into that? I don't, I'm not really interested in what what his clothes really look like to a you know to an absolute minute degree. You know, give a broad spectrum of what it looks like, but in the first chapter to go into such detail about what you know what people are, are doing at a certain time, and I don't think it, it's needed. Not in the first chapter. You've got to make sure that you 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 engaging. The audience, like I said, if I hadn't watched that, I may not have continued. The next, the next chapter is Bran, which is the young guy. Um, I'm not going to go into it too much because I'll go into that in a, in a future video, maybe in a week or so's time, um, just so that if anybody else is reading along this with me or is interested in this book, they definitely go out there and and and, and buy it. Uh, it's not that much. What did I get it for? Eight ninety nine, but I think I've actually got it on an on an offer in Tesco's for something like four quid or something like that. So just keep your eyes peeled. The next one is Bran, which is the son of the Lord of where the fucking hell is it? Winterfell, Starks of Winterfell. He is the son, is the youngest son of the uh, of. Yeah, I can't remember his fucking name now. What's his name? There's so many people, honestly, there is so many characters in uh, this series that it is quite daunting to try and remember them all. Um, not King Robert, that's the other guy. What's his name? What's his bloody name? It's annoying the hell out of me now. Not John, that's the, uh, the other one. Fuck me. It's going to annoy me. And I'm not going to go anywhere until I've fucking found it. It's going to annoy the hell out of me. Dire wolves come into it. How Stark? Is it something Stark? I can't remember. Rob Stark? Is it Rob? No, I don't think it is. Rob Stark? I don't know. Um, no, I don't think it is. Never mind. Uh, I'm getting annoyed trying to find it. I'm, is it Rob? I don't fucking know if it's Rob. Um, I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. But what I do like about this book, and uh, for, for you guys right at the start, if you've never read this before, there is a lovely little map. I've got to say, it's a lovely, lovely little map. And it shows you the south the north and then it goes on even further to show you the land beyond the wall which is the wall that I was talking to you about the, the wall that, that, that the uh, the people are defending um, and then it goes on to the lands of the summer sea and there is actually um, an entire other bit onwards from there and it probably is in the second book rather than the first but there is a, another bit that's further on in the map and I think it's really well done, very well detailed, mountains, uh, forests, you can see where the roads are, the rivers, 
really really good detail there the towns the uh, the villages that are there and it really is absolutely lovely lovely to see and you know i spend 10 minutes just having a look seeing where stuff is and when when things are mentioned in the chapters, I like to go back and have a look in the map just to see exactly where they are and see, uh, try to gauge just what it might like might be in that kind of area. The guys um, that were in the prologue, Garrod, Will, and, and Sir Wayman Royce, they were past the wall. They were the the wall that's defending the north, the, the you know the land of the north from you know the, the rest of the stuff, the kingdom and what have you down the south. Um, that wall there, they were actually past the wall and into the winterlands or whatever you want to call them. Uh, they were in deep forest uh, trying to find... Uh, the, it wasn't the others. The others, I think, are this barbarian type humans that, uh, that they were trying to pursue. Uh, they then saw that they were killed, the fight ensued, Fima Bob died and, um, and nothing was heard of Will since. But Something was heard of Garrod since, because he was left to to man the horses, and uh, Garrod turns up in the brand chapter, which I'll get to in another one. I'm sorry that it's been a little bit higgledy piggledy in all over the place. Like I've said, I'm probably over the next week, uh, while I'm sitting down in bed or something like that, um, I'm going to reread the chapter brand so I know exactly what I'm going to fucking talk about next week. I apologise that uh, it has been a little bit higgledy piggledy. I couldn't remember what the bloody hell was going on because, like I said, it's been a few weeks since I read that first chapter. I just never had a chance to record it up until now. So hopefully uh, there are some of you, hopefully there is some of you guys out there that are reading along with me and that we can have uh, a good discussion about what's happened in that first chapter. Maybe you've you found something that I've, you, you, you saw something in the book that I've missed. Maybe you disagree with the fact that uh, there has been a little bit more detail than I think is necessary in that first chapter. You've got to remember that it's the first chapter. You've got to remember that it's that first chapter. That's the one that people in the first book are going to read and judge the rest of the book on. I think there's a little bit too much detail in areas where there doesn't need to be. That's just me. Um, you're entitled to your own opinion, definitely. If you are reading this book along with me, then put it down in the comments. I'd like to see just how many people there are out there that are interested in this kind of thing. So, Bran is the next chapter. In the next week or so, I will be putting that little uh, little clipping up there of that. And, um, and we'll see how it goes from there. We'll see what kind of interest is generated from this video. I know it's been a little bit higgledy-piggledy. I apologise. Next video will be a lot more structured. Um, but, like I said, I'm sorry. It was a few weeks ago. Uh, I've slept since then. But anyway guys, that's been nearly 20 minutes of just one chapter there of the prologue. And that's with me not remembering half the fucking stuff. So when it comes <coughs> pardon me, wind. When it comes to along, you know, the brand chapter, I'll have a bit more about me and I'll know what to say next time. So sorry about this uh higgledy piggledy episode guys, but the next one I promise you will be a lot more structured. So part one of my um Tough Man's Book Club, that's what I'm going to fucking call it. I think that's a fucking legendary title, that is, actually. So I'm going to call it that. Tough Man's Book Club, Game of Thrones, Book 1. And uh, we'll see what kind of interest is generated. If it's not much interest, then there's no point in carrying it on, really. Uh, I don't want to be wasting my time as well as yours. So. Anyway, guys, until next time, I've been the Tough Man. Stay safe.